station. The other challenge or in the book is what we now have, the Kalinga Fire Escape Challenge, which started as the Kalinga Community Challenge of Trades and Industries, or uh, in short, KCCPI, by text order number 15 series of 1971. This uh, college offered purely vocational courses like poultry, piggery, garment trade, dressmaking, tailoring, and uh, native loom weaving. Mr. Augusto Alejandro was the first college administrator. Classes this time was held at the Tabuk Central School because classes were conducted after office hours. Because it catered to government and business employees who have not finished their uh, college education. Then, St. Thomas College also was established. St. Thomas College evolved also from a very humble beginning. Then, Tabuk Institute Badu High School, a sister school of Tabuk Institute. Let's also hear the accounts of our resource persons on the economic life of Tabuk during the pioneering days and how it has progressed since then. There are two recent events in the life of the city which impact on its economic life cannot be gainsaid. The energization of the province and also the harnessing of the Chico River for irrigation purposes. Tabuk was energized on August 2, 1979 through the Kalinga Apayao Electric Cooperative Incorporated, which was registered and incorporated on May 17, 1977. The event brought the blessings of electricity to the people of the center of the town, but gradually the coverage of the Kaelco, which serves the two provinces of Kalinga and Apayao, expanded to the rest of the town, so that as of the moment, all 42 barangays are energized. In the case of the people of the Poblacion, the coming of the Kaelco was not the first time they experienced the benefits of electric power. Way back in the 1960s and the early 1970s, the municipal government had maintained a generator which was turned on at nightfall and off at daybreak. Doubtless indeed, one of the most important events in the history of the then town was the construction of the National Irrigation Administration Chico River Irrigation System with a total cost of 827 million, 60% of which was borrowed from the World Bank. The project went into service in 1983. The change that the facility brought to the life of Tabuk was very dramatic because the erstwhile irrigated area of 650 hectares was multiplied almost tenfold to 6,035 hectares. 
While before most farmers only planted their fields once a year, they could now plant two or even three crops annually. The sufficient water supply is also one of the factors which substantially increased the yield of the rice lands per hectare. In the keeping of former councillor Melesio Albert is a folder of documents collected by his father, the late Mayor Pio Albert. Included in the documents are tax declarations which revealed that before the war, municipal district presidents subscribed tax declarations. From the documents, it was established that the following have acted as municipal district presidents. Banasan, 1920 to 1923, Kagaban, 1922, and Banawag, 1928 to 1932. Aside from them, the following local chief executives have shaped the city into what it is today. During the pre-war period, Baak Gulit, 1936 to 1937, Jose Daudawen, 1938 to 1939, during the time of military mayors, Francisco Villoria, 1940, a man named Tankib, 1941. During the Japanese occupation, Tankib 1942 to 1943, Agustin Castro 1944 to 1945. During the liberation period, Pio Albert 1946 to 1947, Agustin Castro 1948 to 1950. During the time when Tabuk became a regular municipality, Agustin Castro, 1950-1951 Miguel Buslig Sr., 1953-1954 Agustin Castro, 1954-1955 Jaime Quirino, 1956-1971 Ricarte Quinsaat, 1972-1980 Jaime Quirino, 1981-1987 Romel W. Jassen, 1988-1998 Basilio A. Wandag, 1998-2001 and Camilo T. Lamawin Jr., 2001-to-date. Pastor Tere pa, pumunang... Malaga po nga ako na kaitak manipod di ubing tayo. Hindi nga. Ito ya. Iyaan mo nga ako, damo nga mayor, haan nga mayor, presidente tinaganda. Municipal district president, awag dahi, haan nga mayor. Tati, am mo, basbasaya ka na dahi, record nga idulodulin ni ama, nga adapel lang tatang nga tiyempo. Ito yung muna ni Dagiti Banasan. Saan ito ni Adapinagan ni Kagaban. Agbasarak lang ti Perperma da ah. Malasin mo nga presidente ako na anak Adapit Perma na. Ngayon, han nga yung signature ta Dapal. Yung tamark ti Kwada Ede. Ede ta Ito talaga nga rugi na Banasan, Banawag, si Maruno. Saan ito si Maruno? Ti Baak. Baak siya. Apuntad siya pa rin. Ti Baak si Amok. Yung adal, yung tempo na nga nagkakandidato da. Ang kung amon nung sinu tinurumor kadakwada. Kasi di malpas ti municipal president na apuntad amin na rin jay. Di jay damot ni... Eleksyon eh, tanabuyak kayo lang ni Jay, damo sa eleksyon, di Jay, naglabanan na katugangak ka ni Ama. Ta naglaban na si politika na kita. Kahit nabuyak nga mismo, taubing tayo, di Jay, balutas da, di Jay, kolo, na kasla, lip. Bas-basit nga playing card ti, pakasto ti, kadakil na, di Jay, kolo, nga karton. In second, the color mo, no sino color mo, isuti alaem, no kaspen 
Ti kolor ti Pedro, no green, di jay green ti alay, so ikusyak mo dyan may isang pangipisukan. Tapos dyan ti nakaitak nga, nakaitak nga kuha ti eleksyon ito. Dyan ay pakaw. Dyan ay ayan ti, ayan ti impakaitak ka da kayo nga litrato nga lima ti stop da, di damo.